In this part of the talk, we will talk about how we name the microorganisms. The system was divided by Linnaeus in 1735. The system is, is called binomial nomenclature, where the organisms has two names, the genus and a, a specific epithet. Epithet means a descriptive word, like Ashrikia coli. Scientific names are italicized or could be underlined. The genus is capitalized, so the first word, the letter of the first word is capitalized, and the second part of the name is lowercase. They are Latinized, and they're used worldwide, so everybody knows about them. The name may be descriptive or could be an honor or could honor a scientist. This is an example of a name of a bacterium, Ashrikia coli. Ashrikia means that this basically honors the discoverer whose name was Theodor Eschrich. And coli, the second part of this name, describes the bacterium's habitat. Coli mean colon, that is part of the large intestine. That is where the bacterium lives. Another bacterium, for example, is Staphylococcus aureus. Here, Staph mean a cluster. As you can see, the blue clusters, the microbes, staphylococci, have been stained and can be seen under the microscope as clusters or bunch of grapes. So staphylo means a bunch or a cluster, and cocci is the shape, means round or sphere-like. Aureus means gold color, and as you can see, in the petri dish, the colonies of the organism look golden. After the first use, scientific names may be abbreviated with the first letter of the genus and the specific epithet. This is an example that if we want to write, for the first time we would write it complete, like Ashrikia coli and Staphylococcus aureus are found in the human body, but if we want to refer it Second time, we can abbreviate, like Ashrikia could be ab abbreviated as E, large E, and coli has to be written as such. It is found in the large intestine, and Staphylococcus aureus, abbreviated as S, large S, and aureus, is on skin. So this is an example. This slide uh, shows a difference between a bacterium and a bacteria. E. coli, as a species, if we talk as a species, is a bacterium. It's a singular, um, as a species. Its, it's, it's use is singular. But if we talk about just one cell of E. coli, it is also called bacterium. So don't get confused between um, E. coli when used as a species. So... That could be written as E. coli is a bacterium. And if we just talk about one cell only versus many cells, then that single cell from E. coli is also a bacterium. But if there are more, we would call them bacteria. So if many cells of E. coli are there on the surface or on a slide or in that image, we, we could call them bacteria also. Similarly, there is another word that we mostly confuse, is a medium versus media. Medium is a singular, and media are plural. And thank you.